Solomon's activities and accomplishments. Now it came about at the end of the twenty years in which Solomon had built the house of the Lord and his own house, that he built the cities which Haram had given him, and settled the sons of Israel there. Then Solomon went to Hermath Zobar and captured it. He built Tadmo in the wilderness and all the storage cities which he had built in Hamath. He also built up Abeth Horon and Labeth Horon, which were fortified cities with walls, gates, and bars, and Baalath and all the storage cities that Solomon had, and all the cities for his chariots and cities for his horsemen, and everything that it pleased Solomon to build in Jerusalem, Lebanon, and all the land under his rule. All of the people who were left of the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, who were not of Israel, that is, from their descendants who were left after them in the land, whom the sons of Israel had not destroyed, Solomon raised them as forced laborers to this day. But Solomon did not make slaves from the sons of Israel for his work. For there were men of war, his chief captains and commanders of his chariots and his horsemen. These were the chief officers of King Solomon, 250 who ruled over the people. Then Solomon brought Pharaoh's daughter up from the city of David to the house which he had built for her, for he said, My wife shall not live in the house of David king of Israel, because the places where the ark of the Lord has entered are holy. Then Solomon offered burnt offerings to the Lord on the altar of the Lord, which he had built in front of the porch. And he did so according to the daily rule, offering them up according to the commandment of Moses, for the Sabbaths, the new moons, and the three annual feasts, the feast of unleavened bread, the feast of weeks, and the feast of booths. Now according to the ordinance of his father David, he appointed the divisions of the priests for their service, and the Levites for their duties of praise and ministering before the priests according to the daily rule and the gatekeepers by their divisions at every gate. For this is what David, the man of God, had commanded. And they did not deviate from the commandment of the king to the priests and Levites in any matter regarding the storehouses. So all the work of Solomon was carried out from the day of the foundation of the house of the Lord, until it was finished. So the house of the Lord was completed. Then Solomon went to Zionshba and to Elathon the seashore in the land of Adam. And by his servants Haram sent him ships and servants who knew the sea, and they went with Solomon's servants to Ophir and took from there 450 talents of gold, and brought it to King Solomon.